All right, good morning, everybody. Could we please stand for the procession? Thank you, and you may be seated. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to 2024. Welcome to everyone in attendance, staff, learners, um, ground staff, admin staff, and then also our parents here in attendance today in the flesh, and then also many of our parents who are attending um, from home. We are coming to you live from Kira Bloemfontein for our 2024 Term 1 Start of the Year Assembly. I'm Mr. Lowe. I will be leading the proceedings for this morning. I'm the operational head of the high school, and I shall start this morning's proceedings with devotion. But before we start, I would like all of us just to take a moment of silence in commemoration of Lutando Mubundle, who passed away um, over the course of the holidays. He was a beloved son, beloved brother, beloved friend, and beloved learner. So let's just take a minute um, in remembrance of Lutando. Thank you. Now, as we all know, at the start of a new year, there is that little phrase, New Year's resolutions. Now, to give you all the message this morning, I want to share with you the following. Setting goals for self-improvement each year is a personal process, the result of which we don't always care to share. While telling your husband or your wife or your mom or your dad that you plan to clean the garage by February holds you accountable. It also makes you feel even lazier if March rolls around and it's still a mess. Having someone who knows your New Year's resolutions can be both a blessing and a curse unless that person is God. Talking to him about your goals 
will give you peace of mind and an opportunity to ask for wisdom, whether your plan is in your best interests and others, and guidance, how to reach your goal. This year, I want you all to consider the following Bible verses and have peace in knowing that if it's God will, God's will for your resolution to be fulfilled, He will enable you to accomplish it. The first one is to teach with intelligence. From 2 Timothy 2, verse 23 to 24. Have nothing to do with foolish, ignorant controversies. You know that they breed quarrels. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kind to everyone, able to teach, patiently enduring evil, correcting its opponents with gentleness. Number two is to pray for guidance. From James 1 verse 5, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. Number three, and this is a difficult one, forgive those who have hurt you. From Colossians 3 verse 13, bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Number four, difficult in certain circumstances. Take care of yourself. From 1 Corinthians 19 verse 20, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Number five, love others. And this comes from Jesus directly. The most important one, answer Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Number six, be a role model. From Titus 2 verse 7, show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works and in your teaching show integrity, dignity. Number seven, don't be discouraged by failures. From Joshua 1 verse 9, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Number eight, value your friendships. From Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9 to 11, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Number nine, also extremely difficult to do in these tough times. Help those in need. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father, Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, 
or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these two who are members of my family, you did it to me. And that's from Matthew 25, verse 34 to 40. And the most important one to remember this year as a resolution, trust in God. From Proverbs 16, verse 3, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. Let us pray. Father, we praise you for who you are. We give you thanks because you created us in your image. Also, we pray for knowledge and understanding for teachers, pupils, and parents. We pray that you will be with our teachers and pupils as they start a new school year. We pray that you will give pupils tenacity as they seek for understanding and new revelations in their studies. Father, we also pray for parents that they will support pupils by building a closer working relationship with teachers and staff. Dear Father, we pray for all teachers as they enter into a new academic year. We pray that this new school year will be fortified with your peace, understanding, and most of all, your love and direction. We ask that every teacher will learn how to wait upon you and that you shall renew their strength as eagles. Lord, help every teacher to be able to manage the demands of the job. We pray that they will run and not become weary, that they will walk and not faint. A good and gracious God, we praise and thank you for the opportunity to acquire knowledge in a good school. Lord, pour forth your brilliance upon us. Help us apply whatever we learn here. Keep us organized, help us avoid distractions, and pay more attention to our teachers and learners. Give us the grace to work hard and succeed as learners and teachers. We know our future is secured with you, and our efforts will never be in vain. See us through every aspect of school. Thank you, Lord, for our answered prayers. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, learners, I now welcome to the stage Dr. Mallory Deploy, the executive head of Kira Bloemfontein. Thank you, Mr. Lowe. Good morning, colleagues, our very eager learners, and for the first time ever, our parents and guardians to which uh, this assembly is streamed. A very warm welcome to each and every one of you. We are embarking on a new academic year, which will be filled with endless possibilities, with growth and discovery. Now it is with great joy that I stand here before you today, representing a community dedicated to fostering knowledge, creativity, and success. And it is for this reason that we include our parents today in this very important event in our school's calendar, the start of our new school year. Parents, we are indeed honored and privileged to have you attending our assembly and thus completing the sound foundation for education, namely educators, learners, and parents. Please feel free to share this link with your family and your friends and your colleagues there at work. 
to our returning learners and staff. Welcome back. Your familiar faces bring a sense of continuity and warmth to our school community. Your experiences and achievements contribute to the institutional culture that makes our school so special. For those who are joining us for the first time, whether you're stepping onto our school grounds for the first time or transferring from another school, we extend a heartfelt welcome to you. Your parents and you have made the right choice to come to this beautiful, safe, and good school. You are now part of the Kuro Bloemfontein family. At our school, we value diversity, curiosity, and the pursuit of excellence. So, embrace the new friendships that you will make the opportunities that will come your way, and the challenges that may lie ahead. This academic year promises to be a journey of growth and discovery. And each lesson, each interaction and experience will shape your understanding of the world and your place in the world. Our dedicated staff both teaching and support staff are here to help you and to guide you and to inspire you. So please don't hesitate to ask for the help. Remember, education is not just about acquiring knowledge, but also about developing skills, fostering love for learning, and becoming well-rounded individuals, true ladies and true gentlemen. Take advantage of every opportunity to ex explore and to question and to create. Now, as we commence this school year, let us commit ourselves to a new spirit of collaboration, respect, and perseverance. Together, we can create an environment where everyone feels valued and empowered to reach their full potential. Let us take the school and yourselves to the next level. Hashtag TNL. I wish you all a fantastic and successful school year. And may you embrace the challenges, celebrate the victories, and make lasting memories. Yes, to a school year filled with growth, friendship, and academic achievement. I thank you. Now I'd like to call and introduce Mrs. Slubber, the principal of the primary school, to address you. Mrs. Slubber. Good morning, learners, staff, and once again, a special word of welcome to our parents and extended family and friends who are joining us online. Yes, here we are again at the beginning of a new school year. I trust it will be a year filled with much expectation. May 2024 be a year in which each of you take the time to set personal goals and more importantly, follow the plan set out to achieve them. You see, 
a goal or a dream will remain just that, an abstract concept, unless you put in the necessary effort required to achieve them. Will it be easy? Probably not. Life happens along the way. Of one thing we can be sure, there will always be challenges. But how we deal with those challenges will define who we are. A winner is not someone who never fails. A winner is someone who never quits. As Mr. Lowe stated, we sadly said goodbye to one of our very own grade seven learners at the end of last year. Tando Mvundle passed away on 20 December after a short illness. Although Tando is not physically with us, he is in our hearts and our minds, as today he too would have started high school. I attended his funeral on the 24th of December, and I'm so proud to report that his friends and our broader school community, parents and high school learners, came together to celebrate his life. We were, we were able to unite in our sadness and pay tribute to this remarkable young man as a school community. And that, learners of Kira Bloemfontein, is what makes us special. Keep up our school's culture of love and caring for one another. May his memory continue to inspire us as a school. Tomorrow is never promised, so let's not waste today. It is only by God's grace that we are here. Let's make it count. Make footprints in the sand that can never be erased. Tando did. In his short 13 years, he made a difference. He will always be remembered because he cared. I also ask the learners and staff that you keep his loving family in your prayers as they continue to navigate their inconceivable journey of grief and loss. Grade eights, you have completed more than half of your schooling career. Today, you start your high school journey. Five short years from now, you will have finished school and will anxiously be awaiting your final matric results, matric results. Grab this new opportunity with both hands. You are so privileged to be in this beautiful school with excellent teachers. Make us proud. Make yourselves proud. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to our new primary school teachers. Firstly, Mrs. Kate Bentley, who is not with us this morning, but with her grade ones as they start their very first day of big school. Then, Mr. Pilani Dubazana, would you please stand? He will be taking on the grade three E2s. And then, Miss Tumi Dingan. <laughs> who will be teaching grade five English home language this year. Welcome to Cura Bloemfontein. Although Mrs. Bentley and Mr. Dubanzana have taught at Cura schools before, I know that all three of you will love 
your time at our school. We are a family. We take care of one another and strive to treat everyone with love and respect. May your journey with us be a long and happy one. Finally, may our primary school continue to be a place where we love to learn and more importantly, learn to love. I thank you. I now welcome Mr. Lowe, the head, operational head of the high school. Thank you, Mrs. Slubbert. I also want to jump on um, that train before I deliver my address to the high school and the rest of the school to introduce new staff members. First, an official welcome, which is long overdue, to Mr. Molefe. You can please stand. Ms. Abrams. Ms. Kere. And Mr. Lobi. I see I have competition in a low part of the school. They all started last year with us already. Mr. Molefe now will be teaching in um, TC3, one of my old classrooms. Ms. Abrams in room nine, one of my other old classrooms. Ms. Kerry in room two, sharing with Mrs. McRae, and Mr. Lobby will be teaching in TC4, the coding and robotics classroom. Then also a very warm welcome to Mr. Mushati. Mr. Mushati is joining the Mathematics and Mathematical Literacy Department for grade 8 to 11 this year. Mr. Mushati also taught previously at one of our sister Kiro schools, and we are very excited to have him on our team. I would also like to welcome um, the high school, our new grade 8s of 2024, as well as all other new learners and parents in these respective grades. I'm sure that you will all feel right at home with us very soon, because work starts lesson two already. The first month, believe it or not, of this new year is almost halfway finished, and already we've seen that 2024 will indeed be a year of 2020 more. The start of a new year is not just a change in the calendar, it's also an opportunity for growth, for learning, and embracing the challenges that will shape our future, our current grade 12s of 2024. As we start this academic year, let's carry with us the lessons that we've learned from previous years, those previous reports. Remember that setbacks are not failures, but rather opportunities for growth. In the words of Winston Churchill, Success is not final. Failure is definitely not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Grade 8s of 2024, you will soon find out that high school in particular is a time of exploration, self-discovery, and laying the foundation for your future. Embrace all of the challenges that heavy school bag, hard copy textbooks, quick pace, and uncertainties that may come your way. They are the stepping stones to success, and that will prepare you for the very harsh and difficult life outside the comfort of school. A note to all of us is to take, very importantly, good risks. Step out of that comfort zone and dare to de dream big. Grade 12 LO learners, you will definitely experience that this year. The skills and knowledge you gain during these formative years will serve as the building blocks for the rest of your life. Learning, teaching, 
getting knowledge, getting an education. It's not just studying facts, memorizing names and formulas, applying bod mass, figuring out who Pythagoras is. It's about developing critical thinking skills. To be creative, to solve problems, not create them, to solve them. And a passion for lifelong learning. Explore your interests, ask questions, and actively engage with the world around you. No man or woman lives on an island. Your education extends far beyond the walls and corridors of school. The world and life is your greatest teacher. I challenge you all, parents, learners, teachers, to take responsibility and accountability this year and in the coming years for your own teaching and learning. This year, let's also make kindness and empathy two things that are very scarce in our world and our own country nowadays, a top priority. In our broken world that is so divided, you, the youth, has the power to create unity and understanding. Embrace your diversity, celebrate your differences, and build the bridges that connect us. Most importantly is to remember and to know every single one of you sitting here, staff, parents, everyone included, that you are not alone. Your parents, your teachers, and your peers are here to support and guide you. Ask for help when you need it and provide it for others when they ask. To conclude, I challenge you all to make this year a year of growth. No one is perfect. No one knows everything. Compassion it costs nothing to be kind. And learning. Embrace the opportunities that come your way. Face challenges with courage. And remember, that each day is a new chance to become the best version of yourself. I thank you. May we please stand for the code of honor. As learners of Kira Bloemfontein, we walk in the light. We uphold Christian norms and values. We strive for excellence in all we do. We work with dedication and perseverance. We treat others with love and respect. We believe that with God, all things are possible. In Luce Abulamos. May we please remain standing.